Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. In this video, we will be doing a quick speed test comparison of two OnePlus devices in the 40 to 55 price, thousand price segment. We have the OnePlus 13S launched recently and we also have the OnePlus uh, 13R launched earlier this year. So these are two devices. Uh, this has the Snapdragon 8 Elite while this has Snapdragon 8 uh, Gen 3. So two devices with really powerful hardware. Let's see which of these performs better. Now if you look at the pricing, the OnePlus 13R comes for around 40,000 price segment uh, and this is around uh, 50,000 price segment with all the card offers. So let's see the settings first. So about device. So you can see here Snapdragon uh, 8 Elite while Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 mobile platform OnePlus 13S, OnePlus 13R both are Oxygen OS 15. This is 16 gigs of RAM while this is 12 gigs of RAM. 5850 mAh battery while this is 6000 mAh battery. Now both have the Trinity engine. Now both are powered by Android 15 out of the box. So let's just clear off all the background apps. So there you go. We just cleared off all the background apps and we will see the network connection. So both are connected to the same Wi Fi network and both are in airplane mode. Let's chart the speed test of these two devices. So we'll see which performs faster and then we'll see the memory management and also the raw benchmark scores. So let's start with Asphalt Unite. So let's see uh, which performs better here. So OnePlus 13 has, has taken the lead. So. Asphalt Unite was faster on OnePlus 13S. Next app is uh, BGMI. Let's see which opens BGMI faster. We have turned on the game mode as well as the performance mode in the battery settings. Once again, OnePlus 13S has taken the lead and opened it faster. So you can see uh, both the games were uh, faster on the OnePlus 13S. Next is uh, Play Store. Almost same time, not much of difference. Chrome browser. Again, almost same time. Facebook, slightly faster was uh, the OnePlus 13S. Twitter, exact same time once again. Instagram, again uh, 13S was faster. Spotify, you can see uh, something, some issue with the browsing, but uh, we'll skip that. Once again, 13S is faster. Flipkart, probably almost same time. Again, uh, almost same time. Settings also almost same time. 13S was faster. Gmail, exact same time. Camera, 13R was slightly faster. Settings, our other maps. Again, 13S was faster. So you can see here, both devices did a really good job, but obviously 13S is faster because it has Snapdragon 8. Uh, Elite while this is Snapdragon 8 uh, Gen 3. So that difference obviously will be there. Next let's see the memory management. Now here we have 12 versus 16 gigs of RAM. Let's see if there is if that makes any difference. So as of now all the apps are available in the memory. So you could see here memory management seems to be same on both the devices. So here you can see here Asphalt, uh, in fact Asphalt has reloaded on both the devices. So you could say that uh, probably not sure about the app performance but Asphalt uh, Unite has been reloaded on both the devices. But otherwise memory management looks uh, pretty good on both the phones. So that was the memory management. Next let's see the network uh, speed of these two devices. So we connected both the devices to the same server. Let's start with uh, OnePlus 13 S. So you can see here very similar in terms of uh, network speed. Next is the raw benchmark score. Let's see which uh, performs better. Obviously uh, the Snapdragon 8 Elite will have a higher score 24 lakh or 2.4 million versus uh, 1.9 million. And uh, let's also see the individual scores here. So you can see here. Uh, CPU score is almost similar but the GPU score is uh, way different, memory score and the UX score. So uh, the GPU score is where these two devices actually differ a lot. Now you can see here in terms of testing both the devices lost around 7% of the battery. Here 7.7 .7 degrees increase in temperature while this was 6.4 degrees increase while testing. So that's the uh, benchmark scores. Let's also see uh, the 
storage test now both are UFS 4.0 while uh, this has code uh, almost 2 lakh while this is 1 lakh 69,000 so again uh, nothing much to differentiate because both are UFS uh, 4.0 and finally the Geekbench uh, test uh, let's see the scores here so 2864 while this is 1995 and the multi-core score is 8645 while this is 5547 once again you can clearly say that the snapdragon 8 elite is way more powerful in terms of benchmarks but in terms of real world conditions we would say uh, both these devices does a really good job there isn't much to differentiate unless you are into really great gaming i would say the one plus 13 hour would also do good in terms of performance but there are other things which matter because uh, uh, both are a different category now you get a proper triple camera setup here while you get a dual camera setup uh, so there are differentiating aspects so which of these devices would you pick uh, in this price segment do let us know your thoughts in the comment section this is normal signing off thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day